It's a nice big old school with bricks and it's solid. Since opening its doors to students in 1910 as Vernon Center School, the 112-year-old school has undergone a lot of growth. According to Brendan Robertson, who has been teaching for 27 years, the name change from Vernon Center to Barristow School is not the only change. It was somewhere near the late 30s that uh, the South Edition was put on, and then the North Edition was added after the Second World War. And then that edition was gutted in the 50s, late 50s, early 60s to create our gym that we have right now. Upgrades to an antiquated heating system were also necessary. Robertson's interest in the school's history have become teaching moments. It's fun to, to tell the children about it. Um, right now you can actually see where the old coal chute was, so the custodians would come in in the morning and have to get the boilers going. Soot can still be seen on the walls of the room where the coal would sit. From the outside of the school, you can see what used to be the principal's office. Mr. Bairstow served as the school's principal for 35 years, and he too has a history. The ghost of Mr. Bairstow. And there have been staff members who have sworn that they have heard him, uh, especially on the weekends. If you're here alone doing some work, you might hear sounds of things moving. Yeah, it's been a long time a story passed on from generation to generation. I mean, it's been years. Robertson has his own theory. I personally think they're probably mice in the walls. As for the space that was once Principal Bairstow's office. It's the most beautiful library you can imagine with this big cupola and large, large space for a library. So uh, lots of room to go in with multiple classes and, and do some learning in there. In Vernon, Tracy Prediger, Castanet News.